hi everyone it's Nancy here and I just want to share with you um, a kit of supplies I've made up for my Hey Little Magpie blog post um, this month uh, I as you know are trying to kind of not buy too much stash this year and I kind of went through my stash and I was sorting stuff out and I was like I have so much stuff that I've hardly touched so um, and new bits and pieces that I loved and haven't used so I've made myself a kit of supplies up um, of course Hey Little Magpie have just had a sale so lots of people may have some of this older stuff in their stash which is new unfortunately I've had quite a lot of this um, older bits in my stash for quite a while um, so there's lots of different bits in I just wanted to just really talk quite quickly through um, my kit there was a whole load of embellishments and stuff which I will talk through but I just want to go through the papers uh, this is um, a piece of paper from the Pebbles collection, Happy Days. And I bought this um, and loved it. I bought it a couple of months ago and I've not even touched it. Um, I mainly bought it because it's got such cute little coffee cups in. Um, and I got another piece of paper which is basically just all coffee cups. Um, but I got this one. This piece is called Thinking of You. And it's got real great phrases that I can use on cards. And I want to try and make some more cards this year. Um, I've got lots of lovely friends I've made through YouTube um, and being poorly at the end of last year I've kind of neglected a few that I need to get some like little racks and stuff out to so one of my missions you know in the coming months is to try and get some cards out to those people that you know really brighten my days and stuff like that and I just want to say a big thank you to them so I thought this would be great not only to use on cards but some of these smaller elements I can chop up and use and just make little embellishments out of. So I pulled this piece out and as I said, I was really excited when I got it and haven't actually then used it. Um, I then have this, I've got stuffed everywhere again, I really need to tidy up. Um, I've then got this piece here from the Open Book Collection and this is called Memento. Um, it's got this orange stripe with sort of distressing on the edge here. Um, and then this nice pink pattern. And again, I can pick out the orange from here, or I can pick out that pink. Uh, this is a piece of paper that, again, I picked up quite a while ago. This is from the Ellie Studio Sycamore Lane, and it's called Together. And I really like this heart, um, heart, this arrow side. It's got some lovely arrow pattern. I mean, this is a grey side. Um, it could possibly work with some of the colour tones, but I picked it out to use this side. Okay, then this is this piece from Basic Grey Second City. We'll all know this was not a favourite collection of mine, um, but I really like the navy. I just didn't like, I don't know. I used like nearly everything up out of that collection, which is crazy seeming I didn't like it. Um, but this is called Belmont, and this is really nice um, dark navy and teal pattern. And this side is like a, a tone on tone teal pattern. So I brought that out and to use to pull out some of this teal that was in that sheet. Um, I also have a couple of these. Again, I ordered one and then I got one in a kit. So, um, And this is the cross stitch um, cut aparts on craft from Amy Tangerine Stitch Collection. I really like these. I can use these in Project Life, I know as well. But I just thought they'd be great um, to try and make some embellishments out of. And you know, craft is really just a great neutral. Um, here I have a piece of the Chamel collection, this is called Jemison, and this is the one with the glitter stripe which is just gorgeous. Um, I recently used a Project Life card of this paper and I was like, I love that paper, um, but I haven't used it. So there is again a tone on tone pink pattern this side, but I kind of quite like fancy using that for quite a striking background. Again from the Chamel collection this is Keller and the hearts, I mean we've got Valentine's coming up so I thought that would be a really good piece of paper to use for some um, layouts of me and my boyfriend. Not so keen on this side at all, but I do like the um, border strip there which is days of the week. Um, and so again I've pulled that out. Um, here I've got, if I can pick it up, a piece from the Stitch Collection from um, Amy Tangerine and this is called Scissors. And again this is the cut apart sheet. Um, again, I really like this kind of colour. I've gone kind of quite a pinky, ready toned 
Um, I like the little sayings and stuff you can cut up. I may use some of these in Project Life, I'm not sure. Um, there is this teal on the background, so I could use that if um, I wanted. Um, but I did pull it out for that cut apart piece. This is another piece from the Stitch Collection. Um, this is called Repeat, and that has that love word on, um, which is really lovely. But there's also this grey side, I quite like that as well. But as I was kind of going with a Valentine's theme, I thought, no, I need to pick this out. And because Pebbles, Crepe Paper, the Chamel line, Amy Tangerine's line are all made by American Crafts, I do find that their colour tones are very similar. So, like these reds are all similar tones. So, really excited, you know, that you can easily mix and match them. Now, these are pieces from a much, much older collection called My Girl from American Crafts. Um, I believe this is a 2012 collection. So it's now, what, three years old? <laughs> so I really wanted to get this used up, but I just had these pieces of paper in my stash and they weren't really doing anything. So I wanted to get them used up. So this is just a lovely pink um, pattern piece. Again, I can use it either for matting or something like that. Again, this piece was in it. And again, that, that was called Silly Sarah. This is called Beautiful Bella. And again, it's from that My Girl collection from 2012 and it's just, just been sitting around. This I really like. It pulls in some yellows, some pinks, some greys, some teals. So I really, really like that. And that's that sort of hexagonal. I'm not so keen on this side because it has got, kind of got a built-in frame. But I really like that piece. Um, so as you can see here, here's my main colour tones. Um, as you can see, like... You know, when you kind of, I always like to turn the papers over as well, so you can kind of see that they could possibly work together as well. But this is the colour tones that I'm going for. Um, I did just have this piece of vellum. I believe this is a crepe paper. Um, this has got pink hearts on. So I pulled that out. And then this is very old. This is from Dear Lizzie. I believe it's from the Neapolitan collection. And this is um, the banners that I had. And again, it picks up those colours. I've used a few but not use any more than that. So really, really kind of love this colour palette. I'm looking forward to seeing how many layouts I can make with this. Um, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight pieces of full paper and then there's three cut apart sheets in that. So yeah, I think I'm probably going to be able to make quite a few layouts with that. Um, and I'm just really happy that I'm getting some of this stuff out of my stash. Um, Okay, over to embellishments. I'm just going to put this behind me out of the way. Okay, embellishments I always go totally crazy with and pull out far too much. Um, but I find that's just kind of how I work. So um, I'm just going to talk you through my embellishments. Um, let's say some of these bits are quite new to my sash but are older. I mean, this beautiful um, um, set of thickers came from Emma. Um, she's so lovely and sent me, she sent me a lovely, lovely little rack and um, she also sent me these cute bows and I'm not a bow person but I saw this and I'm like ooh that is so pretty it's I'm not sure if it's navy or black actually I think it's black but I really love that and I really want to use these because I was like no I hate the script font but I've really kind of gone back in with the script font at the moment and she sent me these and I was just like wow that's so cool thank you very much so I'm gonna try and use those on my page and again it goes with the love theme and again as I said, um, the papers I've chosen kind of are sort of more for a Valentine's theme. So I've got those. Oops, there's the other bow. I've got these um, crepe paper. I think these are from the open book. Yeah, these are the Maggie Home Robbons, which I had a kind of hit and miss relationship with. I like them, but they're a pain to get off. Um, and these are now be sitting around for probably a couple of months. And I really need to get them used up because they'll dry up and they'll be absolutely useless. So I pulled those out of my stash. I'm just going to put those there out of the way. Um, again, I've got these on, on my desk from Gossamer Blue. These are some flare pieces. And again, I just picked out the script font because I thought if I'm going to go with it, because there's script on some of those papers, so I wanted to pull those out. These are Alison Creft for Webster's Pages, I believe. Um, and these are pretty 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 old um, and these are just a little bunch of envelopes and stuff and I said these have been on my stash for a very long time but I wanted to get those um, try and get those used up I've got some um, little chipboard frames and the notes and things great paper and it's got this gold in which I thought would tie in well with that Chamel piece of paper 
this is again um, an Amy Tangerine sticker sheet and I've had this for quite a while but there is a few well there's quite a few stickers, oh there's a doily in here as well like you do um, so there's a few stickers in here that you know I need to use up um, because I just you know I'm worried that when you start getting them like this you just you know they're going to get damaged easily so there is that um, I also completely forgot about this actually this is the On My Desk by Gossamer Blue again die cut pack and this has lots of gold and different bits in so I really wanted to try and get this used up because there's some beautiful pieces in here and I think I'll probably use one or two from this collection so I want to get that used up um, I've got the Chamel sticker book and again I've used quite a few of these but I want to make sure that um, you know I'm using these up rather than just saving them I've got her die cut pack here as well I do keep store them in these little baggies when I've um, started using them uh, this is um, an old pack of Studio Calico Rub-Ons which I've had quite a while I've used a few off the bottom but I want to get them used up because as I said Rub-Ons don't last that well this is the Gossamer Blue on my desk puffy stickers really love these um, and they do kind of this pink and red mix in well with the papers I've picked up so I've pulled those out I've got the Chamel Rub-Ons which I had a really difficult relationship with because these just didn't rub on at all I've used about three or four of them and I really didn't like them so I want to get these used up um, even if it's just kind of in a distressed background way because yeah I'm, I was a bit disappointed in those um, this is the um, Grey Mercer Road um, Gossamer Blue and this is the die cut ephemera pack um, I think I've used again two or three of those so I want to try and get those used up so I pulled them in Moira sent me these um, in a little rack package not long ago um, and these are the Dear Lizzie. these again are older pieces but they're new to me I really love these hearts um, and, the, and they're teal and pink again so I thought that would be really great to pull in with those papers I've picked I have this bag of mixed sequins which are just simply divine um, and again these were sent to me by someone and I really can't remember I'm really sorry if you're watching um, I've decided I need to start writing on them with Pen who sends them to me so I can give you guys credit um, because I have the memory of a fish at the moment it's crazy so, but I really like these and these sequins colours go well with the papers I picked um, and I need to use them up because there's hundreds of sequins in here um, and I've seen some really great people you know doing some really good stuff with sequins um, I was even tempted to make a shaker card because I've seen people doing shaker cards even though I'm not a card maker I thought mm. so I thought I'd try and get those used up a little bag here of some wood veneers just some hearts and arrows and these again have been sitting around for a bit so I want to get those used up I've got wood veneers in hundreds of different places again this is a really old one well it's not an old one I bought it last year it says 2014 and I've not used it and I've got a little bit of scrapping left to do for last year so really need to get that used up pretty quickly um, Again, I've got the notes and things here, and these are the craft label stickers. So these are the craft and gold, so I thought they're going to work well with that collection as well. And I've got here the new Heidi Swap date stamp and the new Dear Lizzie roller fray stamp. And then also, as I was going through, I found a couple of different flare badges here. Um, and these say, so inspired and love, and again, it's in the gold. So that is everything. I will um, put a list of all my supplies um up on my blog post so if there's anything you have missed then you know you can go and find a list there but hopefully I can create some layouts with this and you'll see a mix between old and new products so I want to thank you guys very much for watching and I'll be back with some process videos soon thanks bye